glutathione is made up of three amino acids, okay, glycine, glutamine, okay, and cysteine. Now, glutamine stimulates tumor growth. That's why fenbendazole helps. It blocks glutamine from going into tumors. That's why um, maybendazole helps. It blocks glutamine from going into the, into the tumors, okay? But if you take glutathione as glutathione itself, it splits down into these three amino acids, all right? However, if you take NAC, it pulls off that glutamine, increases the endogenous, one that's made by your, your little cells itself, of glutathione. That's cool. That's good. But if you add something that's going to add more glutamine to them, I don't, I don't like this because I don't want to take any chances with glutamine, period. And the very fact, I mean, I was surprised to find out fenbendazole and, and maybendazole blocked glutamine used by cancer cells. And it was like, we already knew the other mechanism, but we, and we knew that it blocked what's called GLUT receptors on tumor cells. But but gosh, nobody knew that it was also blocking the glutamine. So this is, this is awesome. And that's where what I'm seeing is the best products, um, whether it's off-label drugs or nutraceuticals or whatever, the best ones have multiple mechanisms of action. So you can take NAC. Um, they say not to take it, however, with carboplatin or cisplatin. It's a long story, but it has to do with oxygen radicals. And the NAC, then, you're best to take it afterwards, um, you know, after you're off of whatever chemo you're on. Um, but NAC, in general, uh, helps to raise our immune system because that glutathione that is synthesized in the body naturally pulls off more of the glutamine. So you're, you're, you're actually doing yourself a favor. You're raising your immune system, and you're decreasing your stimulus of tumor growth.